Hello world, this is Lai from QNet headquarters in Taipei, Taiwan. I'm marketing specialist Michael and here I have product manager Tony with me. Hi Tony. Hi, I'm Tony. So today will be the second day of our upcoming QTS system update preview and today we are going to talk about snapshots for our own based NAS models. So let's start with this question, Tony. How many of our users are currently using our base model? Uh, yes, uh, according to our survey, there are uh, about 40% uh, uh, NAS users uh, led by ARM based NAS. Uh, the reason is very simple because it's uh, budget friendly and easy to use, and it's uh, 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 enough for most of the customer. However, uh, because the how it intention or architectural design intention, so this kinds of product can just provide uh, less advanced storage feature. So, with this update, we are bringing this advanced backup feature to our users. What kind of hard work and the development have we done to make this possible? Uh, yes. Uh, this time we have a deep co uh, co work uh, co work with uh, Anapuna Labs. So that's in a subsidiary of Amazon, right? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, our RD RMD team and uh, 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 their people uh, do a lot of work to discussing about uh, discuss about the architectural design. So we change some uh, architecture so that now we can support the main shop. Well, that sounds like a lot of hard work. Uh, yes. But uh, some of our home user or our ARM-based NAS users, they may not know about snapshots. So can you briefly introduce to them what is snapshot? Uh, sure. Uh, before uh, I intro uh, introduce what is snapshot, uh, I want to uh, uh, explain why uh, we need snapshot. Uh, as we know, uh, ransomware causes a lot of trouble. Uh, it uh, encrypt or lock your file and ask you to pay money yes. yeah, to get the file back. Yeah, that's trouble. Yeah, for big company, they have a, uh, a senior MIS or ID people, so they know how to use uh, the, uh, such uh, advantage, uh, advanced storage feature like Snapshot to protect their data. However, for common user like uh, Soho or like a small company. They don't have such product, they don't have such knowledge to protect their working data. Uh, so with a snapshot, uh, uh, we can protect uh, this data. But before that, we have to know uh, a lot of people, they install big software to their notebook or to their PC uh, to take on their data to uh, the NAS. But if your file are already been locked, you just back up the that file to the NAS. Yeah, that's useless. Yeah, it's useless. So with a snapshot, you can uh, keep many copies so that in, uh, in case your file has been locked, you can still get your file back. Well, that brings the latest advanced features so our Soho user or home user can use also enjoy this very convenient feature. That's very cool. So, can you tell us about how QNet did this? How Snapshot works? Uh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, QNet and NAS use a uh, bracket based uh, storage technology and to support Snapshot, we also use a uh, very uh, mature file stand EST4 as a NAS feature. Uh, all the uh, changed block uh, store as a read-only in storage pool space and only modified blocks uh, will be stored so uh, no one can change it so all this backup snapshot they are read only and they will not be further modified so the ransomware cannot touch them yeah sure uh, that's very cool uh, for QNAP NAS we support volume and I scratch long snapshot. Uh, for volume snapshot or block based I scratch long snapshot, we also provide very easy to use, uh, uh, easy to use user interface to 
uh, managing uh, these uh, snail shops. Besides, we also provide some uh, enhancement to help our customer uh, to use the uh, snail shop feature more easy. Yeah, some of our, our users might think that it's very complicated to use such an advanced feature, but actually it's not. So, Tony, how do we do this? Okay, uh, so Snapshot uh, uh, management, uh, we support some new design so that uh, our user can uh, can see or can manage the Snapshot uh, by very simple user interface. Uh, okay, uh, let me show you a real machine. Well, we have live demo here, so let's switch to live demo. Okay, uh, here uh, we have a uh, arm based NAS. Uh, last already supports in the shop. Uh, I can show you. Uh, this is a TS1635, it's an Anapuna NAS. Yes. And the uh, QTS version is 434, uh, it's a new one. And here in overview, we have a new uh, item called Snake Shop Overview. In this page, we can see the third pool with uh, Snake Shop uh, usage and utilization uh, information like uh, allo allocated uh, Snake Shop reserve percentage uh, and some more very detailed information. Uh, if you want to see uh, the storage space, uh, Snake Shop space utilization, you can just click this button then we can see the history of snake shop uh, space utilization and we also can click the volume along to see how many snake shop we already already have and uh, the uh, uh, for uh, the last snake shop uh, before uh, for in this case it's uh, 22 hours before so last snake shop is about 22 or 23 hours ago. Yes, so uh, we can take a snapshot uh, right now. Yeah, sure. See, then I can click OK. So now we get potential. Yeah, the, the timer goes back to zero. Yeah, so sure. It counts again. So basically, it's like a overview page so we can know how our system is protected. Yes. Well, that's very cool. Oh, okay, let's back to slides. Uh, besides the snake shop management, uh, most of our customers uh, they tell us the difficulty of the storage management is uh, they don't know how. So we think about it uh, for snake shop management. The uh, easier way is use snake shop on fire station the same to fire explorer yeah so you don't have to learn another software again yeah sure uh, so we support uh, the central management on fire station right now uh, let's show uh, let me show you the live demo okay so uh, on the UI uh, we can see fire station here we can click this one now we can see the snapshot type point mount as a uh, folder. Yeah, that's just the snapshot we have. Yeah. Just like the number of snapshots on the previous page. Yeah, we can click on uh, the share folder. We can see the files already stored. And of course, we can use it as a uh, um, regular file. You can copy and pass to other place or uh, to download the file. Uh, yeah, to user it's no difference like just the uh, normal share folders. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's very important. Okay. That's very convenient. And uh, Tony, we just mentioned that uh, not only our data needs to be backed up, uh, the backup data needs to be backed up, back up again to build a complete solution to protect our data. So uh, regarding to this direction, is there anything new we can introduce to our users? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, we have a three function uh, for snapshot backup. The first one is snapshot re replica. It means uh, it's uh, incrementally uh, backup the snapshot uh, to uh, uh, to a remote storage, a uh, storage or uh, a remote NAS storage. 
Uh, we also have a snapshot of vault. It's a space that you can store uh, many snapshots from uh, many NAS. Uh, we also support backup snapshot of vault to other place. So you let you have multiple layers of protection. So you back up and back up again and then back up again. Yes. Uh, for restoration, uh, we support uh, local restore. We support remote restore. Uh, so that so we can get fire back in uh, many uh, different ways. Uh, let me show you some uh, live demo. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, we can. See storage and snapshot page. We already take some snapshot already, and the first way is we can click the this camera camera icon, and we can see different type point uh, different type point, and we can choose any type point, and choose a folder, and we can get file back. It's a uh, it's very convenient. It's not very difficult. It takes a little bit more time, but not very difficult. Yeah. Then uh, we want to pick up the snapshot to other place. So we choose snapshot replica here. Then we can create a uh, snapshot replica job. Uh, in this case, I already created two uh, job. One is uh, pick up the snapshot uh, locally, and one is I pick up snapshot vote to uh, the other NAS. Uh, I can show you some uh, design change. Sure. We click this one, uh, it's an edit button, and we choose uh, backup plan, it's a new design. Uh, we have uh, three kinds of backup plan uh, this time. The first one is we, we can uh, uh, star replication job after taking a local snapshot, a certain local snapshot. Uh, that means we can set up the backup plan based on how many snapshot taken. So let's say about after three or five snapshots, then yes. the snapshot will be replicated. Yes. Uh, it's uh, very useful for some uh, customer. They don't want to back up based on the schedule, they just want to based on uh, how many files, uh, how many changes. So uh, in this mode, it's very convenient. We also support uh, traditionally schedule. So you can set up schedule like uh, daily, uh, every hour, or start or repeat how many times. Uh, but for some user, they want more for the backup plan. Uh, I can show you a very interesting configuration. So for some user, they want to uh, daily and every hour start from uh, uh, midnight and maybe to uh, morning. Uh, in the working hour, they want to take a snapshot more often. So we can click uh, add to set up a second schedule. So there are multiple spec schedule possible. Yes. It, it based on when, when the time of the day. Say if in the midnight you just don't need to back up so often, yes. but during the working hours you need more frequent backups to protect your data. Yes. So in this case, uh, during the working hour, we can take snatch up maybe 15 minutes, and uh, in the midnight maybe we just uh, take a uh, one hour or two hour. Well, that's very convenient, and y you can save some little space because you don't need at certain point of time you don't need yeah, that much yeah. of backup and less busy. So there is another option. Yeah, uh, some user tell us they don't want to back up all the snapshot. They just want back up a certain type of snapshot. So this option is used for this requirement. That means uh, we back up the snapshot based on the schedule and. When the schedule uh, uh, reach, we take a snapshot and just pick a last snapshot. So that's a lot of different options for different kind of automated backup solution for every kind of different needs. Yes. Uh, that's very cool. And when we back up to the remote side, uh, we can just click uh, the send this camera icon. 
you can see the big snapshot content in the same uh, user interface. Yeah, so, but uh, the interface is still the same, no matter it's on local or remote. Yes. Then we can restore the file locally or remotely, or even create a new shell folder. It's very convenient, and uh, you don't have to override your existing files. Yeah. OK. Yeah, let's go back to our slides. So Tony, um, all these restoration methods we mentioned and still need a little bit of, uh, more complicated knowledge. Is there an easier way for users to restore their files on their own? Uh, yes, uh, we allow user, uh, common user to restore their files by themselves. Uh, for Windows user, uh, they can use uh, Windows previous version feature. For Mac or Linux user, they can use a shell folder, a snapshot folder to get a file back. Uh, okay, let me show you. Yeah, sure. Go to live demo, please. Okay, uh, this is a network driver I already mapped to the demo NAS. You can see there are some picture or some file here I already uh, stole. Uh, in this uh, as a case, and this is a marketing NAS. Um, so I want to check the content. Okay, uh, there are some uh, content inside. Uh, the title is green. Uh, we maybe we think it's uh, not correct, but we don't know what why it's correct. So uh, we can uh, click the mouse and select restore previous version. And we can choose different type point, uh, maybe this one. So we can click the open button. And it's a red one, that's a what we want, so we can restore it. So all these restorations are done within your computer, within the Windows interface. You don't yeah. have to additionally log into your NAS to do this operation. Yeah, yeah, sure. For Mac user, uh, you can click uh, this icon. It's a recently snapshot, fo uh, snapshot folder. So click this one. You can see the uh, all the folder uh, are sent to your file station. So basically, it's just like the share folders. Yes. No, no difference to the operations. Yeah, no, no difference. Yeah, that's very cool. Now let's go back to our slides, please. So, Tony, can you tell us, uh, with all this interesting feature, and you just said the snapshot is going to take some of your space in the storage pool, how do we plan the storage place to be uh, most efficient? Yeah, sure. Uh, when we talk about the uh, snapshot space, uh, it's a very important topic uh, for the NAS user because uh, most uh, user they don't know how to plan the snapshot space because uh, uh, it, it's hard, it's very hard, uh, hard to pre uh, prediction. Uh, uh, in our design, uh, we store the changed block in. Uh, Free storage, uh, free storage pool space. Uh, so, uh, for the user, it could be very quickly to use uh, many uh, storage uh, pool space for storing snapshot. Uh, we suppose a new feature this time to help customer um, find more space for their snapshot. It called uh, it called um, convert. Uh, sick button to thin button. So you can reclaim some of the free spaces inside a sick volume and com by converting by converting it to a thin one. So you can make more space for your snapshots. Yes, but you have to be careful because uh, that mean we we allocate the balance space for the snapshot. And so you need to pay attention to the subscription issue. Yes. So, so to to be careful about how how much storage you have used. Yeah, because the uh, space is not free. Yes, of course. Uh, to 
uh, make sure we have uh, enough space for snapshot. We also uh, support a feature called the minima guaranteed snapshot space. Uh, it means uh, we uh, find a place from storage pool and uh, use it uh, as a dedicated space for snapshot. So in our previous design that if the data is keep writing to the NAS, the, the system will start deleting the snapshot from the oldest one to make more space to yes. store data. But uh, with this feature, there are certain places that are guaranteed for snapshot usage. So even more data are coming in, they, they will not overwrite any yes. snapshots. Yes. All right, that's very, very convenient and just secure your data. And there, is there any solution we are providing for our virtual machine users? Any snapshot related feature for our virtual machines? Ah, sure. Uh, some user tell us um, <coughs> it's an unbased NAS snapshot. So it's a less feature compared to uh, Intel and the NAS. Uh, the answer is uh, no, it's the same. So, so we also support snapshot agents for uh, VMware and uh, Windows uh, VSS. So that uh, user can use the uh, uh, unbased NAS for their backup software or uh, some uh, virtual machine uh, to make sure they can have uh, data consistent. So the, pro the function we are providing for our unbased NAS users are exactly the same compared with our Intel or AMD based NAS. Right? Yes. That's very cool. So there's another feature called Snapshot Clone. Can you introduce? Uh, yes. Uh, snapshot Clone is a, a function that uh, we can get uh, production data and uh, without uh, impact the production environment. Uh, so for this time, the uh, unbased NAS snapshot, we also support snapshot clone, so that uh, we can use snapshot technology to clone volume or long uh, data as a separate space, and user can see the content uh, without the uh, um, uh, interrupt the production uh, process. So basically, you just duplicate another volume or lung and do whatever you want to it without uh, affecting your like of uh, your production works. Uh, yes. So it's an independent, uh, but uh, exactly the same. So you can experiment anything you like, any features in software you want. Yes, correct. All right, Tony. With all this interesting feature and exciting development to our own business we get these features <laughs> when these features will be available to our users yes uh, we plan a next quarter and we can suppose um, uh, 31x 31xu and uh, uh, 35 serial model uh, but of course uh, you at least get 4 gigabyte memory yeah, that's mostly like our NAND string on base models, right? Yes. But uh, there's a limitation. You have to have four gigabyte, four gigabytes of RAM because it, it takes more computing power. Yeah, sure. Right, that sounds, but but four gigabytes is not that much, right? But uh, you get an additional advanced features. It's yes, very convenient yes. and secure your data very much. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Tony. Uh, that pretty much conclude our discussion and introduction today, and thank you for your watching. So stay tuned as we bring you more about our new feature and upcoming update to our QTS system. I'm Michael, and this is Tony, and thank you for your watching. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.